confidently dispatched. Wollacott went the other way, and the skipper makes it 1-1. Nigeria right back in this. Itibu, low ball into the middle, and there's the overhead kick from Victor Ozimhen. Well, that would have been sensational. Bassi forward. Right fall for Ozimhen. Oh, he tries the spectacular effort. Victor Ozimhen, it wasn't far away. That would have been a sensational goal. And Ghana have done it. Ghana have qualified for the World Cup. They have beaten their West African rivals, Nigeria. Well, let's talk about Super Eagles of Nigeria because um, Amadou Pinik, the, Niger the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, has said that he's not going to run for a third term as president of the Nigerian Football Federation. That has been generating a lot of reactions uh, from football circles. Um, and the question is, was Amadou Pinik actually thinking of doing a third term? Uh, I think he was thinking of doing a third and then there was this resistance. Uh, maybe the qualifiers, because if we had won the World Cup, maybe if we had beaten Ghana, maybe we will have been talking about the third term. The third term. Now, coming, coming in to talk about the third term will, uh, will not be a good idea. Uh, seeing Nigeria, cra Nigeria have crashed out of uh, the World Cup. But there's no law that says he cannot run for a third term. There's no law. There's no law that says in, we've seen FIFA president Gianni Fantino is going to run for a third term. Yeah, this is where conscience will come into play. You know, Nigeria just... Nigeria didn't call that for the World Cup, and now you're coming in to say you are running for the third time. Definitely, you will be fired by all Nigerians. Mm. Yes. So, if Amadou Pinik is not going to run for a third term now, politics in Nigerian football is beginning to get heated up because uh, we, begin, we begin to look at Sheo Diko might be the next person that the rumor we're getting, we're getting, we're hearing from the circles that Sheo Diko could become the next NFL president. But um, overall. Um, we're not going to the World Cup. Ghana is going to the World Cup. Um, Nigerian fans are not happy. We're losing lots of money, lots of endorsement deal. As a TV station, we're not going to show the match. We, we might be showing the match, but we're not also going to make too much money because if Super Eagles are not playing in the World Cup, I'm not sure we're going to get money from sponsorship deals. Yeah, it's not a good one. Uh, of course, I'm an, as a Nigerian, I'm not happy that uh, I'm, I will be seeing Nigeria uh, in Qatar. But what I'm trying to say here is if, if Nigeria gets things right, I mean, selecting the finest person to man the affairs of uh, the NFF, it, it will be better for the Nigerian team. From the NFF president down to selecting uh, a technical director that will suit the Nigerian team. You know, our strength has always lied, uh, has always been from the flank. Now, how do we get things right? How do we employ a coach, employ a technical director that will make a Nigerian team that can play all around football, not just from the flank, but mm -hmm. from the midfield and you know, bring in appropriate uh, techniques to tackle opponents. Okay, so let's talk about another issue. Uh, let's look at the Nigeria-Ghana match. Um, Victor Osimhen was criticized by um, Victor Ekpeba. He said that Osimhen should have gone for the simple instead of that spectacular overhead bicycle Well, a very good evening to you from... Uh, uh, if you can go back to that um, spectacular bicycle kick, I mean, I think it was the second attempt Osimhen tried to do in that match. Was, it too, was Victor Osimhen trying to do too much? to impress our fans in Abuja. Was Osimhen trying to do too much to impress his club, Napoli? I totally disagree with uh, Victor Ekpeva because uh, this guy is an hustler. You know, if you watch this match, you will be able to tell that um, he was the best player we had on the pitch. Well, the best player, but uh, Ekpeva was saying that Osimhen should have gone for the simple. He should uh, have done the simple thing. There was no, there was, in fact, he wouldn't have done better than this. If you look at, just look at that video very well, you will be able to tell that he, he was not in the natural position to score. But he could have actually chested the ball. If you look at that chest, he had a, could he have chested the ball? He, he, the man had three yellow shirts on him. If you watch that video very, very well, he had three yellow shirts on him. So how could it be possible for him to chest the ball or even get control of the ball and then uh, uh, score an appropriate goal? No, it's not important. What is important is, uh, in fact, it was a ball well struck. It's just that it didn't target go to the off. of the net. Yes, it was off target, but... Well, off second best. leg. So, uh, Nigerian fans not happy, Ghanaian fans are happy. You can imagine the face of Nigerian fans. And, but you know what, President Buhari on, on Friday rewarded class of 1994 um, each a house in Abuja. Is, is he trying to, I, I don't want to bring politics into sports here, but this is Peter Rufai receiving land from the, uh, Mr., um, the former governor of Lagos here, Fashola. Um, is, is, it, is it the right time? You know, you know sometimes, is he trying to, are they trying to calm down the fitness of Nigerians for not going to the World Cup? Uh, I, I, I think uh, it's a good thing, but um, 
It's long overdue. Is it coming too late? It's coming too long. It's long overdue. I mean, it, it's coming too late because uh, they would have, from his first tenure, he would have done this. You know, uh, if if you have intention of pleasing the players, there are many players, players who have not received properties yeah. who have won so, so many. So, so there are so many. I, I don't know, but uh, whatever we will appreciate. Uh, in for doing the right thing. It's the right thing, but I think uh, it came too late. Too late. Okay, so Ghana will be in the World Cup. Nigeria knocked out of the World Cup proper. So um, we'll look at something different because Sondo Lise, the sports minister, Sunday Diary says he wants Sondo Lise, he wants a local coach. Nigerian Football Federation has gone for a foreign coach yesterday. We understand they have spoken with Oliveira Constancio from Portugal. But let's take a look at some of Sondo, uh, Sondo Lise's exploits at the 1990, 1998 World Cup in France.